parasites. Everybody hates them and you may even be infected by one. The Escape and Run Parasites mod has been finally updated multiple times since I last did the mod showcase. So let's return to it and show off a few of the brand new mobs, new features, and new models and animations that have been added to the mod since the last time we covered it. If you have no clue about this mod or what it is and you want to see the rest of the features, you can check out the old mod showcase down below, which will cover the main features of the mod, which I'm not going to go over a second time in this video. But let's take a look what's new, what's been added. Let's jump in. So if you guys remember, there's a mob called the Buglin, right? Well, this has received a brand new model since we last covered it. So let's just take a look at the Buglin. The Buglin was that strange standard parasite where it was the worm, which actually is the base infection mode. So this is the thing that actually infects all of the creatures and comes out of them. Pretty horrible if you think about it. So this has a new model, which I believe last time didn't have all these creepy spines and pieces sprouting off of it. But this Buglin, oh, it's moving, that looks horrible. This can actually turn into the Ruptor, which I believe may even have a new model too. I'm not quite sure, but it looks pretty similar to last time. So this is basically the second form of this thing. So it transforms from this little Buglin mite into this horrible multiple tentacle creature. So this is the Ruptor. And as you can see, this doesn't look pretty, does it? These tentacles are just flying around and it's kind of just creeping and crawling on the floor. People don't like spiders, but imagine if this thing was in your house instead. Not very good. There's also a brand new model for the mob called the Adapted Long Arm. So this was that huge big creature with the exposed rib cage, which sprouts out from the front of its abdomen and these massive arm tentacles, which have these gigantic pincers on the end. But this guy has a brand new model and presumably a brand new animation to match this crazy model which they've added. And if you listen really carefully, you might just be able to hear a few of the creepy screams and growl sounds that they're making. And even these ribcage bones actually open up and down. So it's basically like a mouth in the middle of its chest. It's kind of like on Alien vs Predator. I'm expecting a chest burst just to break out this thing. So this has new models and animations and it looks absolutely amazing. Now I don't know if you remember the mob called the Beckon. So let me just show you what the Beckon is. It was this horrible pincer which erupts from the ground and it actually infects all of the landmass around it into an infected waste basically. And it has multiple stages. We have stage one, we have stage two, and as you can guess, there's a little bit of a pattern here. The further the stages go on from one to two to three, it gets even bigger and, as you guessed, extremely ugly. And look at this thing. It has like multiple mouths and tendrils coming off it. It's like a three segment piece. It looks ugly. Well, this guy does actually infect the ground around it, okay? Now, I'm not sure if you can do it right now just because of the fact that the ground below is actually stone. So, I can't remember how this specifically works. You could actually try placing some ground around it. I'm not sure if he will actually infect it. But yeah, these guys are supposed to... Oop, I accidentally attacked it. I didn't do that. These guys are kind of supposed to infect some of the ground around them. And you can already see is slowly infecting the block below it that it's actually perched on, okay? So this is pretty interesting. Now, when it does actually infect the ground or when it's sitting on top of infected ground, if you actually kill it now, the ground will return to normal dirt. So it's kind of almost like you're purifying the land, which is a nice new feature. Now, as you can see, if it's at a low stage, it's probably going to be pretty standard and easy to kill. Like you can see, I destroyed it and the bottom block it was sitting on has disappeared. Now let's try destroying stage 4, which might be a little bit more challenging. Remember, these guys are huge, so they perform exactly like a box, so they're extremely tiny, so don't expect to defeat them pretty easy. Now, I don't know which stage this is, so we've defeated stage 1, I guess this is stage 2. Just look how tanky this stage 2 is, guys. So if you expect to defeat the stage 4, you basically have to come with a plan, okay? Now it's kind of hard to show off this feature specifically because there's already multiple stages and all of them infect the ground and all of them contribute to the same infectious wasteland. So destroying one of them is kind of like put one head off a hydra. Another head's gonna grow back, right? Or like multiple heads are gonna grow back. This is the same thing. If we defeat these beckons, it's not gonna improve this situation right because they're just gonna keep infecting more land whilst they stand here. But basically, if we kill these guys, this land will go back to normal, into normal dirt. So the only way to stop the corruption is to defeat them. 
but it's a really cinematic world, as you can see with all these brand new models and these new features. The Escape from Run Parasite mod has never been better before, so it's really interesting to take a look and look at the brand new content that we've been missing for the past few months. We also have a village which is nearby, which we could cause a little bit of mayhem and overrun the village, but not just yet, because that's pretty cool, and we have some more features to check out first. So let's look at some of the brand new mobs which they've added since. So there's a new type of mob called Ancient which they've added, so we have both Ancient Dreadnought, and just look how massive that thing is. That kind of looks like that Stranger Things monster from Season 2 or 3. You guys will have to put a comment down below and tell me what the monster's called, because I can't remember. Not the Demogorgon, the other one. Massive giant one which walks across the ground. It's absolutely huge. I think it's like a shadow monster. And then we have the Overlord, which is equally just as big and imposing. This guy is kind of like a massive hound dog, but merged with like a worm. It's basically like a huge giant horse which has been infected by parasites. I don't really know how to describe this other than it's awesome and it's extremely deadly. I'm glad I'm not in survival mode while I'm going against this thing, basically. Let's just put it that way. Then we also have Moving Flesh. So this is interesting, right? So Moving Flesh is exactly what it says it is. It's a really disgusting mob, which is basically flesh which moves around on the ground and as you can see, as part of the brand new fusion system, which they've added since we played the mod, which was quite a while ago, I think it was five months ago now. So since we played the mod, there is actually a brand new update to the fusion system. And these new moving flesh mobs, they will scuttle across the floor and they will try to find more moving flesh and then they'll basically fuse together and they'll create a fusion, kind of like Dragon Ball Z if you think about the fusions on that anime. And they'll fuse together and create this gigantic, horrible, disgusting mound of more flesh and obviously the bigger it gets and the more it evolves the more dangerous and the more horrible it looks basically and if you thought that wasn't good enough we have the vigilante now which is another strange creature which gives me stranger things vibes i think most of the creatures in this mod really remind me of stranger things which luckily i believe the newest season season four should be coming out soon so i'm really looking forward to that so this is the vigilante so maybe not as imposing as some of the other creatures over here but still one of the uh, most disgusting, terrifying creatures you've probably seen. And imagine if this was a real life cryptid that you saw in real life. Probably not going to be the best day of an experience for you, would it? So the Vigilante, which I just showed you, has a brand new model, animations, and textures. Ever since the first time it got added as a new mob. So it basically got added as a mob since I played it and then also got updated. Along with Eruptor, which I showed you before. Like I mentioned, I wasn't 100% sure if this was different, but this one has actually been updated. So the Eruptor has a brand new model, texture, and animations since the last time we played. Which is why the attack animations look really fun fluid and really nice. There's also basically new models for almost every single mob in the mod, so let's just go ahead and spawn a bunch of them. If you want to know more about each mod, you can check out the old mod showcase down below, but I'm going to spawn some new mobs because I guess you've already seen the mod from the past or the old video and you know what they probably look like before. So let's just spawn some mobs and just see how they've changed because it's been such a long time since I've played this mod and even I don't think I'm going to remember the changes. And look how many sheer mobs are in this mod. Pretty crazy, right? So let's just go ahead and spawn a bunch of them. And I'm literally, I'm not even really going to pay attention or do any kind of description or review of each mob. I'm just going to go ahead and just spawn them and just kind of give you a variation of them. So we have the host, we have the assimilated big spider, we have the assimilated bear. Now this is definitely new. This is crazy, by the way. Okay. And also, I don't know what just happened, but it just got turned into one of these giant hosts mechanisms which definitely appears like the halo flood carrier forms okay so the reason why i love escape room parasites is it gives me halo vibes which is basically just like halo 3 which is my favorite game these mobs have definitely changed and there's some brand new looks to them these huge big open jaw appearances look absolutely crazy and you can already see a lot of these parasites have already transformed or fused into gigantic versions some of these forms were not available the last time this mod and the whole lightning effect where it strikes down and then they change form is pretty crazy looking and it makes for a cooler effect assimilated sheep walking head assimilated wolf as you can see this walking head by the way is a brand new mod too so we can see we have the walking head for the sheep the wolf 
and so many others like the pig probably has a walking head too which you can see over here which is kind of a mix between the mob i showed you earlier which was the second form of the infectious parasite but it's kind of got a head on it so this is a brand new version and obviously villagers even have it too which i personally think is absolutely terrifying because it's a zombie head basically we also have the incomplete form which is a small version which definitely has alien versus predator vibes to it too it definitely appears like it could have been off the avp movies i want to know exactly what you guys think of all these new forms which we haven't seen personally i think the horse is one of the coolest because it has these strange pulsating tumors which are on top of the horse which i just think look absolutely crazy and this looks cooler than a zombie horse i wonder if it fought a zombie horse who would win most definitely the parasite i would guess the Primitive Summoner is another fan favourite, and the Primitive Rika is my personal, or at least one of my favourites, because it has such a small head as well, it looks kind of weird. Also, I don't remember seeing the Primitive Mandicator, although I may have seen it, but like I said before, most of these mobs now have new models, so a lot of them are actually unrecognisable. So, remember, if you've seen the first version, there's Primitive versions of mobs, and then there's also Adapted versions of mobs. So these are basically the lower and higher tier stages that the parasites can actually increase to depending on their power, the fusion system, and many other differentiating factors as part of the mod. And you can literally see in real time all these lightning strikes just transforming these parasites into the later forms, which is really satisfying to see, I may have to add. So if anyone hasn't played the Escape and Run Parasites mod, you can now just see the crazy amount of content which is actually involved in this mod. From the start it was already impressive, but now you get to see the effort which the mod creators have been diligently putting in for the past few months with all these crazy new mobs and ideas. Now I do think personally there probably was quite a lot of inspiration from the Halo titles, although I'm not really 100% sure, but there's so many sci-fi and sci-fi horror and general horror movies and horror video games like the Halo games with a flood presence that definitely had an impact on the inspiration behind this mod. So let me know if there's any features which I did miss from the most recent updates. I think there's been three massive updates since we last covered this mod. And if you want to see the original mod showcase, which shows a lot of features and a bit more of an up close and specific description of all the mobs and features of old, then definitely do click the link in the description down below. Make sure to like the video and subscribe for more awesome Minecraft mods. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I be the show, make a room, shake it, shaking it down. I be the with a high profile. Everybody, come on, we be the shakers with a crazy style. Showing everybody how to enjoy a crazy while we time rocking to the sound. Chilling women everywhere. I be the big down, swing at a hot spot, super chicken. Baby, baby, come on, you better rock with me. I be the hot shot player from nowhere to my.